two brothers and their search for long lost twin sisters. It's a story that went viral after they posted a plea on social media. It attracted even more attention after we aired that story here on KDKA. Kim Gable was there tonight when they met for the first time. She's live now with this amazing story, Kim. It is pretty amazing, Paul, and it makes a lot of sense, right? When you want to spread a message to as many people as possible, you want it to go viral, you go to social media, and specifically Facebook, and for these brothers, that definitely worked for them. So their initial meeting today, that first glimpse of each other, was off camera, privately, but they invited us to join them a short time later. It's a story that starts with a single photograph and a simple sign. Looking for our twin sisters, born in 1968 and adopted together in the Elwood City, PA area. Birth mother's name is Sally, and please share. So thousands of people did this. Exactly. <laughs> they shared. Thousands and thousands. And that's how Matt and Ed found Dana and Donna, who'd been living in Hermitage. We were just shocked. Shocked that it. Because we didn't, we didn't we had know no clue. That. I mean, you have no, no clue. And then to find out, not only do you have one, you got three more. But in fact, the brothers themselves had just met. Ed was on his farm in Enon Valley, Lawrence County, when he was contacted by Matt from South Carolina through the Ancestry DNA website. They soon learned they were adopted by different parents after birth and had information there might also be older twin sisters. So they posted a plea on Facebook. Seeing other people do so, something similar to it, and, and we, we brought it up and said, maybe we should do like this Facebook thing. And, and when I met Ed for the first time, we said, well, let's do it. We're here. We wrote the sign. Never in my, uh, a million years would I have dreamed that it would have done what it did. Just then within a couple of days that thousands of people shared it and viewed it. And uh, you know, then you picked up on it and did this, you know, did the story and it grew even that much more. Now say cheese. Cheese. So you can call this the first new family reunion at Buell Park in Hermitage. Just bigger now. Yes. Right. <laughs> I hope we're all close. I hope we do a lot of things together because it's almost like uh, we have to catch up on what we lost. Carol Ann and Bob Cameron are the twins' adoptive parents. Does this bring you joy looking at this, these new yeah, connections? Yeah, it, it does, you know, like, you know, it's uh, pretty neat, it's pretty neat. Yeah, and I'm happy for the girls, more so than I'm for myself, really. I think it's gonna progress. I don't know if I would call it work, but yeah, I mean, I wanna get to know everybody much better. This is definitely just the beginning. The start of new connections and traditions. We're staying at Matt's. <laughs> the beginning of a bond that was born from a yearning for answers from the past. What a little sign can do. And listen to this. This may not be the end to the story after all. They tell me tonight that they do have some new information that there may be even more siblings out there, even more relatives. So this may be a to be continued. Reporting live tonight, Kim Gable, KDKA TV News.